What is up, everyone? We are back. Welcome back to the channel. We have a pretty cool uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe evil airship of Skeletor. This is uh, from the cartoon collection. Pretty excited about this. I seen it uh, when they revealed it, and I thought it was something that took me back to... Uh, you know, when I was a little kid and watching, you know, the cartoon and I remember seeing this, uh, this airship and yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it brought me back, took me back, I should say, uh, it took me way back and, uh, has that nostalgic, uh, sentiment to it in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this is the front of the box. I did get this from entertainment earth. Um, so yeah, thanks to Entertainment Earth for uh, getting this out to me, uh, Mattel. Here's the front. We're going to tilt it sideways. It's kind of a, a big box. So you see on the side there, you see uh, She-Ra. And then on the back, this is pretty cool. I like the way they did this with all the figures in the back that they have released so far. Um, I'm waiting on the Evil Inn, Webster, and Stratos. As far as all the other ones, I have all those already. Um, oh, and then I just noticed Clawful and Spikor inside the... Uh, you see it right there? They're inside the uh, Evil Airship. I need those two as well. You see Snake Mountain in the background. Yeah, this is a very nice... Uh, picture of the action figures i i do like this portrait of it pretty cool pretty dope and then this is the other side let me tilt this sorry about that just uh it's kind of hard to get it all in view and this is what the top looks like so it says fits three masters of the universe origins action figures Grasp enemies and collect them as prisoners. Unleash blast effects at enemies. And these blast effects, they remind me of the uh, the ones that came with Stridor. I don't know if they're the same, but we're going to open it up and we're going to take a look. And then uh, if you want to take a look at the bottom, here's the bottom. It says one-time assembly. And that's about it for the box. So let's pop this pig open and let's uh, let's see what it's uh, all about. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like when you slide it out of the box. It looks pretty uh, assembled for the most part. I don't see too much assembly required. Uh, maybe just the... Uh, the fins that go up here on top, and that's about it, I think. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let me get this out, and then we'll take a closer look. All right, here it is, all outside of the uh, the package. Pretty cool. The plastic it doesn't seem uh, that good quality plastic, but it gets the job done. Uh, the look is there. Definitely uh, looks like the uh, the one from the cartoon. I will say on the bottom of this, you have like uh, some plastics that you have to twist and turn. Um, they go in here just to get it out of the box or the, uh, yeah, out of the carton that it came in. And then what else? Let's put these, these pieces, we're going to put these in and let me... I believe they go like this, but let me make sure. Give me a sec here. Let me look at the picture. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. So you're just going to pretty much just press these in. There we go. They just snap right in. Pretty simple. So you get a better look of the uh, evil airship. Okay, so now what I want to do is 
how do we open this thing? Let's see. I don't want to break anything. Is there a magic thing you press? Okay, so these extend out. These grabbers. Just pull them right out. Now I'm trying to figure out how do you open the evil airship. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's just snapped. And it has some more stuff inside. So, that opens like so. And then we have some more stuff in here. These are the uh, blast effects. Here's the blast effects. And then it is a three-seater. So, you can fit three of the... Uh, cartoon figures in here or if you have the other uh the other uh, masters of the universe figures they fit in here as well the uh, five inch let me grab some figures we're going to put them in here and see how they look all right i grabbed some of my uh motu action figures but before i uh put them in this um aircraft I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. So let me, uh, let's put these claws, push those back in. That's what the inside looks like. It's pretty much just like a hollow plastic with some seats inside. And then you have the uh, controllers right there. So you have this does it move yes it does this goes up and down these levers they don't go up and down they're just they stay put these right here sorry i didn't have it in view um yeah that's about it as far as um the inside goes the seats are they removable i don't think they are or maybe they are but i'm not going to take them out but uh what else the back chair, the back seat is gold, so that's probably going to be where Skeletor sits. And then you're going to have his other two henchmen in the front. So I do have a couple here that I'm going to put in the front. Let's start with Beastman, just to get a visual to see how this looks. And that's not good, that came off. So let's put Beast Man in there. I don't know. It's kind of uh, the seats are kind of way back. I think they should be closer so he can grab onto the controls. Let me see. Let me try this this way. I guess that's how it goes like that. Legs rested. Let me see. Okay. So we got Beast Man in there I don't really like the way it sits in here to tell you the truth it's kind of it doesn't really sit he's kind of like he's if you sat like this you jack up your spine for sure just like the curvature of the uh the back okay so I guess he's going to go like that. I don't know. I guess that's the way they have to make it. Uh, it's not that good. Like, uh, to, Hold on. Let me uh, grab this guy and push his arms in more. Let's try that. Okay. I guess he's going to go like that. Um, yeah, it doesn't really... 
he doesn't really grab the uh the control that good like it, it keeps coming unsnapping from his hand so that kind of sucks we're just gonna and this does move so it does have some play to it so we're just gonna set him in there for now and let's put merman on the other side So Merman's going to go like so. And then we're going to put Skeletor in the back. And then we're going to see how it looks closed. Oops. We're going to see if it closes and all that good stuff. And... I'll give you my final uh, take on it. So there's Skeletor in the back, sitting on his gold chair. He actually sits okay. He doesn't look too bad back there. Uh, just so you get a visual, that's the way it looks on the front. You see, they're kind of like leaning back, laying down. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I guess it is. Uh, I would think they would make it more like, like sitting, like actual, uh, let me see, let me, uh, let me fix this guy. Yeah, see, I just popped off the torso from Skeletor trying to, uh, sit him down more properly. That's not going to happen. So if, if I have one um, drawback, I would say that would be it, that you can't really sit down the way you want to. I mean, it still looks okay. It looks cool, like from certain angles. Um, see, that's how they look. I'm going to, you know what? Let me go above it. Hold on. So that's how it looks. They're kind of like leaning back i guess you could say they're not really sitting so it's more of like a leaning back uh, for what it is i guess it's cool um let me close the lid and let's see how it looks okay yeah so it closes nice you can kind of see them in there like at an angle. If you're looking straight at it, you cannot see them. Yeah, so that's that's about it for this uh, evil airship. Now, the price point, do I think it's worth what they were charging? I don't think so. I think this should be... See, it's just pretty much you snap it, unsnap it, and that's it. It's It kind of reminds me of like a lunch pill, like back in the day, the way you would kind of unsnap your lunch pill and then close it. I don't know. That's just what I feel right now. Um, I would say this is probably worth more, in my opinion, I think it's worth like 30 bucks at the most, if I'm being honest. There's the grabbers. And you can put your uh your figures in here to let me uh let me grab a, a good guy. Hold on. Alright, so I grabbed He-Man. So if you want to grab these guys at the waist with these pinchers, that's what they're made for to grab them and hold them by the waist. And they do turn. And then the um, the blasters, the blast effects, those actually go in front of these claws. So you just push these in there. Now, 
Not too many accessories with this evil airship. It's just the blast effects and that's it. Like not too much stuff come with it. So that's what she looks like. Uh, looking at it, it looks pretty cool. Like, you know, you're going to take photography or whatever, or you want to put it up on your shelf with like your figures around it and stuff. Um, it does look cool. It's a pretty good size. Um, the quality of the plastic is okay. I wouldn't say it's the greatest, but I mean, it gets the job done for what it is. But like I said, the price point to this should be, in my opinion, I say like 30 bucks at the most. Um, yeah, so the one thing I don't like is the way they sit in the seats. You try to bend them down and these torsos are just popping off. So um, that's one thing that I do not like. And then uh, the inside, I wish they would have did a little more uh, detail like on the uh, the cockpit and stuff. It would have been, uh, you know, nicer to have that. And then um, another thing that I wish they would have included was a stand, you know, to... Uh, to stand this thing up or to make it look like it's flying that would have been another nice cool touch to this uh spaceship or evil aircraft whatever you want to call it uh, but yeah not too much to it one solid piece of plastic and then you just clip on the uh the fins on the top and you know you just have these blast effects and then the claws pull out three seater pretty basic nothing uh spectacular nothing out of the uh you know nothing like amazing or you know it's just it's cool little uh cool little spaceship takes me back to the cartoon for sure yeah but that's going to do it for this little quick review. It did come quicker than uh, I expected. I wasn't even expecting it to show up so fast from Entertainment Earth. I got like a uh, email saying that some of my order was shipped out. So I was kind of curious. Looked and they shipped this out yesterday. And I got it like the next day. So um, that was pretty cool that I got it so fast. It does look cool. I will say that it, it does look nice. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It does look pretty dope, uh, but it would have looked better like with the stand and stuff. Um, so that's what she looks like. But that's going to do it for this little uh, unboxing review of the uh, Skeletor Evil Airship. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you like it if you got one and if you have it uh, let me know what you think do you think it's worth you know what we paid for it or do you think it's it should be uh cheaper i think it should be cheaper to tell you the truth uh hit a comment like subscribe until next time incredible bulk signing off take care bye bye